Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory and praise to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Kodash. My name is Tazim Al-Kamaf. Brother Tazir Al-Makhasaf. We're coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth and Ruel. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect that scatter abroad. Okay. And, you know, we're just going to do a quick, you know, quick lesson, you know, on our way to camp. And um, Tyler's lesson is going to be um, false prophets and teachers will be detrimental to Israel. And if you don't know who Israel is, it's the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Mm -hmm. We are uh, who they call God. We are God's uh, chosen people. Okay. And these false teachers and false prophets will be detrimental to Israel. When you go into that word detrimental, it means to... Uh, to cause harm, to harmfully cause harm, you know. So these false prophets and false teachers, they were they were set up just to cause the two thirds, you know, to get judged, to get marked, you know, and to basically be destroyed. Yep. Um. Let me see. Let me get this. Let's see. If, let me get tweaking. the book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 14 and it says hold on okay, yeah. I'm talking verse 13 go ahead Matthew 15 and 13 and it says but he answered and said every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up verse 14 let them alone they be blind leaders of the blind and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Right. So these, hey, these blind leaders, no, because why? They don't have the truth. You know, they're not teaching the truth. They're not telling Israel the full 100% truth. So they're blind leaders, man. And, you know, Jake is a monkey see, monkey do, just follow behind, yes man type of dude, man. Not even really researching, you know. Uh, into you know what they say and they're not showing validation man see uh, starting from my elders and apostles from great millstone you know they validate but they also tell you hey go research it for yourself yeah. just to show you hey it's right there in front of you man okay but it says um on verse 13 it says every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up and all these false camps and false prophets and teachers they're going to be rooted up man Hey Amen. So terrible thing to fall into the hands of living power. So if you get rooted up by the Lord, that means the Lord did not plant you. He did not set you up to be a teacher of Israel. Okay. Uh, what's that one scripture? Uh, in Job, deceive and a deceiver. I got it. This is Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Mm -hmm. So the P a what the Lord wanted a if you're to be deceived and the Lord set you up to be deceived. OK, but also he set up the deceiver, you know, these false prophets, these false teachers, you know, they're causing harm to you they, and you ignorantly not knowing you know, you just following. That's why we brought out the book of Matthew. Hey, they're going to fall into a ditch, man. You're going to, it's going to be soon enough. You're going to see it. it's going to be too late. Like, damn, this whole time been following the wrong people. And that's going to be your end. Because and guess what? They was causing harm to you, not only to you, but into your spirit. Okay. And, but the Lord set you up into that lot because you either gonna get marked or you're gonna get judged just being there man and you know hey the lord is very powerful man he could 
He could wake you up to be an Israelite. Yeah, he could wake you up to be an Israelite. Oh, yeah. But he could also wake you up to be an Israelite in a false camp, you know, slandering the true men of the Lord. Okay, you see that? Now you, now you over here, the law can save me. The law. You know, you're not having a name. You see? That is very important why the Lord set up the true men. Now they're going to be less of the men of the Lord and more false prophets. Okay, it's, it's set up like that. Because something that's valuable is going to be hard to find. <laughs> something that's something that's valuable is going to be hard to find. And you, and guess what? You know, the men of the Lord are hard to find. They're they're rare. You know, that's why Isaiah 13 it tells you you're going to set man more pressure than fine gold. You see? So, hey, this knowledge that we have, so Brock, tell you how about Shemir Shai? This knowledge we have is, is fine gold, it's precious. But not a lot of men have this precious um, gift. Okay? Uh, I was going to get another scripture. Uh, Jeremiah 23. This is Jeremiah 23 and 1. And it says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith Yahweh. And that word woe, you know, it goes into destruction. <clears throat> okay. And it says to the pastor that destroy and scatter the sheep. All right. The Lord said, feed my sheep. But these false prophets and teachers, they scatter them. They give them false information. They tell you that you could take the karagma and repent. You know, and they could tell you you could take the jab. You know, that, that that's that's false information you're giving to Israel. And Israel runs with that, man. Okay, and verse 2, it says, Therefore, thus saith Yehowah Bashim al of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit you the, visit you the evil of your doing, saith Yehowah. Yeah. So that's why, you know, scriptures say every idle word men shall speak. They got to give account thereof in the day of judgment because you over here... You know, telling Jake, you could do this, you could do that. But really, you're scattering them, and the Lord sees that, man. Yep, and Jake, wow, you know, Jake going to run with it, especially if you got something to do with being comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, and the society not having to give up, you know, this this shit that they have right now. Right. But, um, because we have a lot of people in Israel that know, they know the truth, but they put it in the napkin, bro. All right. Are they getting paid off? You know, they're, so they're deceiving others, and that blood is gonna be required at your hands, man. Right. What the scriptures say? You hide your talents. Exactly. So the Lord's gonna take that talent and give it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, hey, the Lord said, hey, the Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep, not scatter them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how you really love the Lord? And also, scriptures say, all those that hate me love death. So look at that, man. You know, hey, the Lord has set up in their mind where they think they're doing right, but really they're doing wrong. Yeah, that's, scary, that's scary, bro. Damn, that's scary. So I'm going to keep on reading. Verse 3, and I will gather the remnant of my flock, which is the elect, out of all the countries where I have driven them, because we were scattered all across the world, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they sh and they shall feel fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith Yahweh. So, at the end of the day, the Lord, if you're the one of the elect or the hopeful elect, I should say, the Lord's gonna set you up in the right path, the truth. Hey, which hey, who has the hundred percent truth? Great millstone. That's right. Okay, they they teach you the hundred percent truth according to the Karagma teaching you the name they go into everything the whole book okay and they teach you they don't give you no sideshow no gimmick no uh marching band no none of that man they give you straight raw what you need to know information okay because the most valuable valuable thing is uh knowledge yep. okay wisdom. knowledge and wisdom it's more precious than rubies okay you got something? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, and verse 16. And it says, 
for the leaders of this people cause them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed all right and when you go into that two um that three letter word err it's basically meaning to error all right so you have these false prophets and these men in these shining you know garments they may look good they, they might talk good you know but they leading israel to the slaughter man you know they're taking israel to the slaughter with them because they're going to be destroyed for selling out and you know feeding the sheep poison bro that's all they doing you know what i'm saying that's why it says and they that are led of them are destroyed you know uh -huh. so they they that's why you know we brought out now matthew you know that um you know the blind lead the, the blind. blind they both shall fall into the ditch right you know what i'm saying so the ones that are being you know deceived by these 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 damn false prophets you know you're going you know you going to pass as well you know and that's the word of the lord man that's really why these these false prophets were set up you know so the lord could shift and you know pick who he wants and who he doesn't want you know mm -hmm. but you don't want to be just an israelite that came that woke up to the fact and like oh, okay i know i'm israelite that's it you know basically <laughs> like yeah you you don't want that bro and that's what happens when you come into these these false camps man you know these false prophets they'll just tell you base things like that and it's you know and it's i wouldn't say you think that's worse to, to, like, to like like they just tell you um for for example you're at a house and on the floor mat it says you're an israelite yeah <laughs> that that you don't even even walked into the door you haven't even walked inside the house yeah you know and this knowledge gets deeper yeah all right and you know when you go inside you're gonna get the name mm -hmm. you need the name yep that's very important. If you don't have the name, you're you're fucked, basically. Yeah, man. Okay, and these people, they don't teach you the name, man. They tell you the name doesn't matter. You could call the Lord, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. But it's been proven the Lord has a specific name, and it's not what these false cans be teaching. Yeah. Okay? Sorry. Which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yep. All right? Uh, I want to get this. This is Matthew 24 and 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Mm. Then I just bring out in Job, the deceive and the deceiver are both his. Yep. So this is the Lord's story at the end of the day. Okay. Many false prophets are will, will rise. So we see that, hey man, we, we are at the last end, man. Yep. We are very at the last end. And time is getting near where, you know, the Lord's about to make his scene. And, you know, these people that don't have discernment to see that these are false prophets, that this is the wrong camp. They're going to be, you know, seeing that, hey, man, you know, the Karagma stations, they're going to see all that getting set up. And they're going to look at their leaders and be like, damn, what's fuck? <laughs> what the fuck do you have me doing damn, this whole time? Yeah, but that's and that's why the Lord tells you how that blood is on your hands. hands. You know what I'm saying? If they die, that's on you. Mm -hmm. You know? And really, they on you regardless. Yeah, yeah, regardless. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, there's also scripture say, um, you shall you shall know men by their fruit. Let me get that. Mm -hmm. No. But it's going to be shown who, and, you know, who the uh, Lord is truly yeah. dealing with. Because like that precept that brother just bought out, man, you know, they're going to be deceiving many. They're going to deceive many people. All right. To, uh, you know, the prophecy, the prophecy that's happening right now. Because you got this, you got uh, people, um, you know, going on with the hype, saying, oh, this false camp said this was going to happen when it was truly, you know, GMS that said these things were going to happen. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, they're deceiving people to believe that those are the true prophets when those are really not, you know. Yeah. Those, you know, GMS, you know, Great Millstone, those are truly, you know, the men of Yahweh Shema the true prophets. Right. I got this last scripture and we can close it. This is Matthew 7. And 15, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, mm. but inwardly there are ravening wolves. Yep. Okay, so they're going to come all not nice and, and subtle, but inside they're ravening wolves ready to lamp on Jake, man. Mm -hmm. Because, hey, Jake is considered a sheep. Yep. Okay, and it says, verse 16, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do mm. men gather grape of thorns or figs of thistles? Mm. Even so, every good tree bringing forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit. Mm. And you can see, you know, by the men, hey, by their fruit, man. This this man endured. This man stayed. 
Okay? You want you want you want fruit that remains. Yeah. You don't want fruit that you know goes off and do all this other stuff. But you know men by their fruits cuz look what they teach. Okay? Mm -hmm. They they want to be in that comfortable mindset like the brother said. Uh verse 18 it says a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Oh, shit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Hey, that's spiritual as that hell. Spiritual <laughs> that's spiritual. Hey, this brother just opened his bag and got an old ass fruit. <laughs> and that's <laughs> call y'all by Shimel Shot. That shit was bad fruit. Damn, <laughs> bro. <laughs> call y'all by Shimel Shot. Call y'all But that was bad that fruit, bro. Damn, that's crazy. Wow, that's man, crazy. I should have took a picture of that shit, oh, man. <laughs> Damn, we should have yeah, put no, no, you can take thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. Kind of call your boss from outside, man. But you can see every tree that brings forth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire, man. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Mm -hmm. Hey, so hey, like the Lord said, man, you're gonna know men by their fruits and what they do and what they teach. Yeah, that was so spiritual right there, bro. Oh my right. gosh, hey, man. But Lord willing, that's been edifying, man. Hey, all these false prophets and teachers, they're detrimental to Israel if they don't wake up and discern. The right from wrong, man. Mm -hmm. So with that, man, we're gonna say shalom. Lord willing, this lesson been edifying. Wanna give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha Bashim Rakakwadash. So next time we say shalom. shalom.